All right, so we're going to go into the second way uh, to uh, automate your social media. And this is with Hootsuite. And I'm just going to uh, autofill that login here. Okay, so this is the other way to, uh, to do um, social media. Now, what I did was uh, on my Facebook account, I've set up a whole bunch of, of profiles. And I should tell you this uh, first and foremost. What I normally do in um, in my in my account here is you get added to you know a bunch of groups. I get added to a bunch of groups all the time, right? Um, so let's let's say uh, this one, okay? So every time I get added to a group, you get an email notification, and I click through that email notification for my email right into the group and I immediately turn off the notifications. I never leave any groups. I never, you know, um, see this one I'm still getting notifications on. So if someone posts something here, I'm going to get notifications on and it's going to come right to my email, which is annoying. So what I do is I go to the group and then I turn off the notifications. Okay, then I won't get notified uh, uh, any more notifications uh, from that from that group. Okay, and you can go down and you know, see all the groups you're, you're a part of here and um, all that kind of stuff. And I just turn off the notifications. I stay in the group. The reason is because of Hootsuite, okay? What this allows me to do is I can add all the groups that I'm a part of. And you can see there's all these different groups that I've been added to that I am not going to, um, you know, ever log into and... You know, they're just stuff that I've been just stuff that I've been added to. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to use this indiscriminately. You, you don't want to do every uh, add to all the different groups. And this also does LinkedIn groups, right? So there's all these uh, LinkedIn groups. So you don't want to do it indiscriminately. Um, and what I mean by that is there may be a couple groups that really you know you shouldn't use this with. They, they may be more private groups, um, and so I keep them off of this. But what you'd essentially do is you just, um, you know, uh, you, you just add add the the the, uh, the ones in that you want to do, and then you can, um, like under the under the settings, you can, you know, change all the stuff and, you know, the authentication and all that good stuff, and then they have uh, tools here. Um, you know, extensions, all kinds of stuff that, that you can get into. And they also have analytics, okay? So again, you can make these custom reports that get emailed to you, and it will tell you what what gets clicks. Um, and so you can see that I got, you know, 155 clicks from the, from the United States. Um, most of them from Facebook, some direct, some from LinkedIn, and... You know, you'll see here in my in my uh, little report here. Um, how do I get rid of this conversations tab? All right, you can see that that this one um, got 54 clicks. Uh, this one got 52 clicks, um, and I've actually tested stuff out and only sent affiliate programs through this, and you know, made sales. In fact, I, I usually make uh, make sales, and so you'll see that. You know, I got 48 clicks on uh, on this. Um, you know, 27 clicks on uh, on this, and you know, 17 clicks on my on my podcast um, when I announced that, that we had a podcast. Um, so you can start to see again. This is really important because you see what is is, is resonating with people. You know, and I think that's that's uh, that that that's pretty cool. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do a post. Um, Lose weight. No more diets. No more. Slimming down. And 
and you'll actually get more clicks when it when it usually when it's when it's um, you know tracked through Alley because what happens is. And Alley is basically a, a, a URL shortener for Hootsuite. But the interesting thing is you'll get more clicks because of the curiosity factor, right? So you notice here, I, I don't mention anything about what it is. I'm just gonna type in my URL. 90 day weight loss revolution.com. And then you click shrink, all right? Now, because today is, it's 12.18 a.m., I'm gonna actually, uh, schedule this okay and so I'm going to schedule this for uh, Wednesday at 12 25 p.m. and yes email me when it's when it's sent oh this is interesting um, auto schedule for maximum impact hey I'm gonna do that I'm gonna auto schedule that and uh, this is gonna I don't know when it's gonna post but you know, it will, uh, whenever it thinks it's best. And I usually do something like that just to just to draw a little bit more attention uh, to it. Now, what you can do is you can also attach images to this, okay? Um, so, we're just gonna do a search. Uh, these are, whoa, too skinny. Let's, let's just click over to the images. Oh wow, okay. Some of these are really too too slim. Um, uh, this is good because it's a cartoon. Cartoons work really well. Alright, so I always click full size and then I save the image as so I have the largest size possible because that's always best if you're if you're working with stuff uh, later down the road. Alright, so what I've done here is now I can put in my image, okay, and upload a, a photo or a document, and I think this is called Skinny Lady. I'm gonna open that, and there we go. So I'm gonna hide the URL so people don't know where it's going to. Actually, yeah. You can or you, or you can't, it, it doesn't really matter. Auto scheduling, and then you can add a location if you want and set the privacy so it only shows to, uh, to some people. And then what you wanna do is you wanna select who you want to, uh, to send this to. So I'm gonna send it to everybody, okay? Because that's just what I do. And you can choose a, uh, a thumbnail and this is going to be what you're uh, what you're sending to from um, yeah from Facebook and there we go I'm gonna auto schedule that and boom you know I'm gonna get some uh, some leads from that uh, just because I'm I'm leveraging Facebook and again I'll just mention one more thing here um, I'm very consciously not putting this is a this is a blind funnel on purpose. I'm not putting the uh, the name of the um, uh, the company or what I'm promoting because I want to play on the element of, of curiosity. You know, um, I could always say you know direct message me, or you could send people like, hey, do you want to know um, blah 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 blah, and then send people to a, a contact form. Right, there's a couple places. Uh, there's one called uh, Contact Me. Um, you know, which you know can just create a, a, a page on the fly for you that you can uh, you can send people to. It's kind of like a form, and and you'll get notified. Or um, the other one that we use is um, Wufu.com where you can actually create a form, and I'll just log in here really quick. Uh, we have a couple different uh, Wufu accounts. Uh, let's log into this one. All right, so if I wanted them to link them to, let's say, can I get my cursor back? All right, there we go. Uh, this one, you, you set up your, your uh, page, 
and then you can just link it right to a, uh, a form, right? So for example, I can link them right to that, that particular form from, the, uh, uh, from Facebook. So I could say like, hey, are you interested in getting a free sample? All right, so we got that done. Um, are you interested in getting a free sample for, you know, um, you know, of my network marketing product or whatever? Hey, here's here's what you need to do, and then you'd make a really simple form, and uh, Wufu is free uh, for for ten fields of less. So you want to have a simple form, name, email, you know, maybe a phone number, you know, what, you know, what what's your number one goal, that kind of thing. You know, very simple form. When someone fills it out, you get emailed, and that's a hot lead, and now you've been generating leads from social media in a way that not many people are doing it, and in a way where you get much better results. And then again, you know, you can you can you know prove it to yourself, and and you know really look at at, at the analytics. You know, once you've once you've got that uh, got that done, and there's there's other analytics stuff that that you can listen to or that you can um, you know get. This is just some of the simple stuff, but you know, I mean, you can you can really tell that you know certain things get way more clicks than than other things. You know, how to make money without talking to anyone on the phone got very little clicks. Um, how to generate leads from Facebook got very little clicks. Okay, in comparison to you know some of these other things, and you know this is very valuable data that most people are not operating on. They're just putting whatever they want into their in their Facebook. So I hope that I've opened up the doors and showed you a couple really cool tricks that can help you take your social media to the next level. And again, you know, you're getting more reach, you're reaching more people, and you're able to do it in a way where you have better analytics and, you know, it's just better all around. So I hope this video was was really really helpful and you're getting a whole bunch of value out of it.